Hello, uh, good morning, uh, this is John again. Um, I'm following up a talk from the moderator of uh, the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland and Head of Christian Aid Scotland, uh, Sally Foster Fulton. Um, and hopefully I got her name wrong, uh, name right indeed, um, because you know my memory is shocking. Um, but um, what I wanted to say was some things about sort of uh, her ministry and about how she uh, looks at the role of sort of Christian aid and development as two. Um, I couldn't stay for the whole debate um, uh, because of uh, actions beyond my control. But first of all, there was a question, uh, an interesting question about sort of belief or belonging, um, and whether uh, this was from Scott Rennie, the minister at the Crown Court Church of Scotland. Um, and uh, Sally answered it like this, um, so I just quickly look down, um, so excuse me if I do. Um, so it's, it, she said it's not either or, but to be included, celebrated, involved and part of the community. Um, I thought that's a nice uh, answer. And then she said the most important thing in Christian life um, uh, is to love each other. Um, so... Then moving forward, um, in some ways the most revealing part of the question for the questioner and the person answering was the, the, was the, was the question of, is South, South Carolina, is ministry in South Carolina and the Presbyterian Church USA different to ministry in Scotland, and, and that being in the Church of Scotland? Um, and, and that was a categorical no. Um, ministry in I, how I perceived it was ministry and reform traditions should be the same and the theology is the same, the practice is the same and the outcome should be the same. Um, uh, and so she says, no, tradition unites us. Um, and she was quite sort of uh, firm uh, on that point. Um, and then um, finally moving to a question that was sort of focused on climate change but looked at sort of general... Uh, international development goals uh, was, uh, uh, was um, and it, I, I suppose this is a sort of theme uh, uh, and question for us all, uh, is how can we marry the needs of different communities, the breadth of the country, into a message and a delivery that meets the world, meets the needs of the world's poorest? Um, I think this was going to a sort of question about how uh, Christian aid working in, I don't know, 27 countries. That's the idea I've got in the past few days in terms of the talks that I've been to. Um, how can Christian aid um, look at uh, everyone's needs uh, as a big organisation? Um, and how can individual churches um, uh, respond to that need, possibly in a better way? Because uh, organisations like Christian aid, as I'm finding, and organisations like Amnesty International are very top down and whilst they have events for people like you and I uh, how we can get involved in them is another story and um, just before I left uh, um, uh, at about half seven last night um, uh, uh, Sally sort of put forward uh, the case that um, uh, organizations such as uh, Christian Aid and potentially organizations like Amnesty International uh, uh, need to look at themselves so that they're um, uh, anti-racist and they don't have colonialist attitudes in their, in their, uh, in their way that they work and in their actions. Um, uh, so that's all I want to say for now. I uh, hope that's okay and I'll post this online now. Thank you. Bye.